Good afternoon, everybody. This is Crystal with Crystal's Creations. Why cough? Hope you all are doing well today, leading into Thanksgiving. Oh, what are you guys all thankful for this week? I know it's Thanksgiving. I know long ago our pilgrims and our Native Americans got together on Thanksgiving Day. That is how Thanksgiving in America got started. If those of you who don't know that, <laughs> um, that is why we celebrate Thanksgiving here in America. So when Christopher Columbus and all them set sail, or not Christopher Columbus, sorry. When all the others that set sail on the three ships, is that how that goes? I can't remember. God, it's been so long since I've been in school. So as you guys can see, what is on my um, board, um, we are going to do a quick card because I need to make one more card because what is in front of me is my laptop and I'm looking at WordPress and I've been uploading some cards, more cards and more links to where you guys can find them and hopefully soon I can publish my WordPress and get that going. So that is my thing. So it's like trying to get everything uploaded and going and everything else. That is what I've been doing. So um, I wanted to let you guys know, thank you all for the new subscriptions, subbies that I got yesterday. I don't know what I said in my video yesterday morning, but I must have touched a lot of um, people out there in the world, but I got quite a few subscribers and I touched a quite a few hearts out there and I am grateful for it. And I, again, I just want to say my heart goes out to all of the families here in Colorado that lost their loved ones. Again, my heart... Um, I love you all, and again, we will get through this. So we are Colorado strong, and love trumps out hate. So we will continue to love and everything else. So let's get on with a Spellbinders card. I already foiled everything that I need to do. I have my lighter. Let's set that aside for a second because we're not going to use that yet. So we'll get that out of the way. So I have my greenery here. So I used, um, I made this yesterday um, while I was um, zooming with, um, zoom crafting with um, Pear Blossom Press with Amanda. And she helped me do a light up card. And if you guys want to see that card, what did I do with that light up card? Do I have it over here? Did I stick it in this pile of goodies? <laughs> what did I do with that light up card? Because she helped me with, um, yeah, she helped me with a light up card. Uh oh. Hope I didn't lose it. And then I had to grab out a bunch of dies and stamps today from Spellbinders so I can get stuff uploaded onto my WordPress. Thing. What did I do with that card? Oh, maybe it's over here. Maybe it's in this pile of goodies. So let's see. I've got all kinds of cards and I try to get all of my Christmas cards shipped out by Black Friday. <laughs> Even though I started Christmas cards in July. Sure. So here is the card that I made yesterday with um, Pear Blossom Press. This is a Simon Says Stamps um, stencil. It's a snowflake stencil. And I use salvaged patina on the snowflake stencil. And this is also a salvaged... Or no. Okay, let's say that again. This is a Simon Says Stamps stamp set. 
and die set. I do not have the die set, okay? <laughs> it, it, it does come with a die set. So this was gifted to me from a crafty gal who lives in Arvada. She got rid of a bunch of stuff and um, this was one of the sets that she had. And I actually like this set. And so Rudolph, the red-nosed reindeer here. So this sentiment says you light up my Christmas, okay? And this word says press, okay? So we're going to press. You ready? Look at that. He's red. He's got a red nose. Rudolph the red-nosed reindeer had a very shiny nose. And if you ever saw it, you would say it glowed. <laughs> Like a light bulb, red light bulb. Isn't that so cute? I mean, this could be for a kid. It could be for an adult. And so what you do is you take your thicker foam tape from their shop, from the Pear Blossom Press Shop, like um, Heffy Doodle foam tape. And you create, I don't know if you guys can see it. See that bigger pocket in there? So that way... They can easily, once the battery dies, you can put a new battery in your um, battery pack in there. You just pull the battery out, put a new battery in, and put the tape back down. Boom, you're good to go. But I wouldn't want to put this card away, would you? I want to keep this card out all the time and play with it because look at that. He's just too cute. And this is just a single light. I do have another strand with three lights. So I will have to figure that one out too. But isn't that just lovely? So what I did is I put a piece of vellum on the back. Because the acetate originally was not working. So she suggests you put ac or vellum on the back of him. And then color it with a red alcohol marker like CR8 or whatever color you want and stuff like that so yeah so that's what I did and you have a red nose and it's so cute I just love it so yeah that's the card I did yesterday and then I did all that stuff too so yeah so now we're gonna do this so I used my GLP 333 Diamond Glimmer Hot Foil Plate. So this one is the, and I wrote them down because I have to enter stuff on my WordPress. So this is the Geometric Diamond Background Glimmer Hot Foil Plate from the Sealed by Spellbinders Collection. That is what this one is. So and then we are going to ink blend these. We are going to use a wax seal, okay? And some greenery. And we're gonna use three blues from Simon Hurley, okay? And I did use some lunar paste. You can find lunar paste, okay? In the Spellbinder shop, okay? So the three lunar paste that I used today and also on the birds I used two shades of blue I used clear skies and midnight snack and then on the red bird I used prom no not prom queen game over so I used game over lunar paste and then I used clear skies and midnight snack on the blue bird Okay, so we're going to call this one a red cardinal and we'll call this one a blue jay. And you can make your birds any color. And then on the berry sprig flowers, I used midnight snack and triple berry. And then on the flowers, I used, of course, I used game over and I used roar for the center part. So, so we're going to go ahead and ink our diamond background for our card, okay? We're going to start out with um, Midnight Snack. 
and I used a silver foil and blue and silver go really good together. I'm just trying to get some extra, a little bit of extra blue to drop down so I can add my other color on top of that. It's all about ink blending. And I know I'm not very even, Stephen, but that's okay, right? So now I'm going to go in with Remember Me because that's the next to the darkest in the blues that I have of Simon Hurley's inks. I haven't seen Simon Hurley's inks yet in the Spellbinder shop, but I wanted to let you guys know that Spellbinders has Olo markers now, the Olo alcohol markers. And for the price, they're actually a little bit cheaper. They're a whole lot cheaper, I think, than my daughter and I. We were pricing them. We were looking at them yesterday, just kind of window pricing and window shopping kind of window testing them, like window checking yesterday. And she's like, okay, I need, I need to get some of those too. She wants some Olo markers too now. And they're really cool because you can add like, um, like two mark, two colors in one marker and versus like a Spectrum Noir marker, you only have, um, what is it? One color for one marker. So for one box of eight markers, you have 16 colors in one thing of eight markers. And for the Olo markers on Spellbinders, okay, you can, for the inserts that you put inside of the replacement, so if, when you run out of ink, Okay, you can take your your ink replacements for the Olos only cost a mirror of two dollars, about two dollars and fifty cents a piece. That's pretty inexpensive. I mean, that's not bad at all. And they blend really nicely. I've seen so many tests being done on these Olo markers. I mean, what a great bargain on Olo's. And from what I understand, the lids don't stick to the tip, the, you know, versus, um, you know, like our Spectrum Noir markers. I have a bunch of them here. When I open them, I can't, they're the, um, when you open them, the whole thing comes out with it. Yeah, I thought so pretty cool but I was pretty neat how these Olo markers so I think eventually I might switch over to Olo or just get a box maybe eventually and test them out and see how well I like them but I know some of my other crafty friends have them and I'm like okay I want to try them so eventually I'll get them but so now I'm going to add some more blue Or some darker blue, midnight snack. Okay, so I'm just gonna put my fingers on the edge of this. I'm not using a sticky mat at the time being.
Okay, got that. And then also Spellbinders, you guys, is having an awesome pre-Black or Black Friday deals going on right now. You might want to check those sales out. And I will um, put those deals or uh, the thing in my description box and all that. Oh, that's what I was looking for. My water sprayer bottle thingy. Okay, so now I'm going to spray this and then I'm going to go in and wipe the ink off of my foil. One, two, and three. Don't ask why I spray three times, I just do. It's just something I do. And then I go in. Oops, don't lose all my flowers and berries now under my laptop. Okay, just had to move my mouse a little bit because my laptop will sit there for about an hour at least before it shuts down and I don't want to lose my page on my WordPress. <laughs> so don't shut off, don't lose it. So that looks really cute, not too bad, right? So now we're going to go in and we're going to wipe off the, all the, Oop. and I see a berry went under my laptop, laptop stand. So that looks pretty good. Okay. All right. So now we're going to try and decorate our greenery. So I'm going to squeeze over here real quick. I need to grab that blueberry. Now you can make these any kind of berry you want them to be. I just made these into blueberries for today. Okay. So now I need to grab my pink gem grabber tool, wherever I may have put her. I thought I just had it in arm's way. I just was just using it. Like, I just had it. Oh, there it is. See, I knew I just had it. Oh, and then something else I'm working on, guys, for another Christmas card idea for the other stuff that I'm uploading right now. I haven't turned it into a card just yet, but look at that. This is a shaker. This is also the stuff that Spellbinder sent me. And this is the... This is from the Sealed Bouquet Etched Dyes from the Floral Reflection Collection. And this was all part of, I believe, November. So I have lots of stuff from November to December that, that came out. So I have two different things from November to December that I've been working on and trying to get uploaded. So but I've got the etched layered heart set from Spellbinders and I have another bouquet. Um, and then I have another glimmer um, hot plate that they sent me that has a flower on it. And then uh, um, yeah, and then they sent me a sealed bouquet to go with this and that's what these are from. And so I just outline the heart and stuff like that. And so these can be part of the folklore 
Christmas idea. So that's what I'm trying to do is add this to the folklore Christmas part. So that's what that is. So I'm working on that too. I almost need one of those, um, you know, those, uh, those, uh, what do you call those craft trays that look like cookie sheets? Um, let's see, you go over there, you guys come over here. Okay. You guys over there, you there, you there. Should have five. I feel like I'm missing one. Uh oh. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, wait, look. Found one. So there's five. Of course, it doesn't help that this is like the same color as... So I'm missing a dot, you guys. Do you see an extra orange dot? Did it go under the table? Under my platform here? Did I lose it? Hope I didn't lose it. If not, we're gonna have a flower without a middle. That's okay. Oh well, that's all right. That's okay, no big deal. All right. Now where'd my glue go? I just had that too, right here with me. Oh, here it is. I moved it way over there. Uh, I'm losing my marbles. It's Monday, I tell you. It's Monday. Okay. So now I'm going to put a dab or drop of glue on each flower. Okay, and then I'm just going to start putting the flowers on. There we go. This one on. Hmm. do our little dots. So I guess there's only going to be five orange little dots. So we'll do this one. One, two, three, four, and five. Come on. Stick glue. Uh. 
If I can get this one to flip back over, it doesn't want to flip. Okay, then we'll let that dry. Good thing Barely Arts dries clear. So now let's put our blueberries together. Okay. I try to only put a little drop because this glue goes a long way. That's why I use my little fine tip because I don't use too much. Well, if I can get that on, no, 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 no. Oh, well, that's okay. Try to move that over a little bit. Okay, so now we're gonna go in, put another dab on top of the blueberries. And then, Well, Sometimes lunar paste doesn't always glue like I should, but lunar paste is fun to play with. And I'm just gonna plop this one on with my fingers. And we usually, some people do blueberries around the holidays, around things between Thanksgiving and Christmas. Blueberry pie, blueberry muffins, blueberry bread, blueberry shortbread. Yum. Kind of makes me miss my grandma even more because she used to bake so much stuff around Christmas time. There, so now we can build this card. Okay, so I'm gonna get out my silver. I don't know if I left it out or if I put it away. I can't remember now. <gasps> Bet you I left it out. I was gonna wrap this with silver twine. It only sucks because I can't put my phone on pause. So let me see if I have, oh, and here's that Simon Says Stamp Snowflake thing that I used on that card. So what did I do with my, oh, here it is, it's right here. I need to revamp that because that is all my ink station right here and all that. So let's get this ready to go. My scissors, oh, oh, right here. 
because I forgot to put my scissors away last night. Okay, put that ready. Okay, now let's figure out how we want this. How do I want to build my card? Okay, I think I'm gonna have this coming down this way this time from the top. We're gonna do something totally different. So we're gonna have that up that way. Okay, and then I think I'm gonna add, let's see, let's do, let's see, we'll do these two. This way, maybe, but I want the birds. Let's move this down just a tad, move this one down. Okay, do I see how we like this? Now this one is going to come in from the top. This one that way, this one over this way. You can always cut some of this off on the edges too. It doesn't have to be a whole foliage, like a whole, you know, the whole flower piece, you can cut some of it off to make sure it all fits on the card like you like. Okay. All right, so now I'm gonna try and put this together. So let's go ahead and get this glued so we can do our hot wax thing. Okay, so we got that. So I might have to cut that flower off and a portion of that leaf off. And then we're going to go, where did I say, down this way. Okay. And I don't think we really need to cut anything off of this one because I like those berries. So I think if I get too heavily involved, let's cut that one off. Because this part has glue on it. There, that's better. And then, you know what we can do? I just got this genius idea. Uh-oh, I just dropped the flower. Because this flower doesn't have the orange thing on it. Watch this, you guys. Ta-da! Now they all have an orange middle. There we go. That one's done. Okay, so now let's, oops, I was gonna grab my hot wax because I thought it was the glue. Can't get any glue out of the hot wax, now can we? That would be kind of funny. So 
So now I'm just putting a little bit of glue on my bird greenery, foliage, whatever you want to call it. Okay. From the top. And it's okay if they overlap a little. Okay. So now we're going to take our silver thread or silver floss, whatever you want to call this stuff, DMC floss. Because I don't have one of those other dies that a lot of the other crafters or influencers or whatever from Spellbinders have. Or the ones that have the club kits that get the club kits. <laughs> I do not have that one. But I may have to add that to my wish list. But I still like doing this. I don't mind adding, doing the old-fashioned way and adding twine or floss or whatever you mind you okay so I have that tight I'm gonna go back here and we're gonna just tape that so I have my red tape I just want to make sure that this is taped down and is not going anywhere. I'm going to pull on it. Make sure we pull on that tight. Okay. We're going to wrap this around. back this way with this one Duh. come on card don't be such a kitten caboodle go back this way with this one try and tie it in the back too to help it stay so it doesn't come loose easier said than done right <laughs> I'm sorry if this is taking a little long but at least I had everything else prepped Of course, I broke a fingernail, too, today, earlier, before I started this video, so I couldn't, it's hard for me to, okay, that might help me hold better. Make sure it's going to stay tight. 
Okay, I think that's going to work. Good. That actually is helping, so I have to sit there and hold it for my dear life. Okay, so I got that taped down. Okay. Now I'm gonna cut these these ones off. Grab my other scissors. Okay. Alright, so now comes the fun part. Well, all this is fun, right? Of course it is. So now we're gonna add some wax. Okay. I am probably wondering where she's gonna add it. So I'm gonna turn my turn my lighter on because I have it unlocked because we don't want anybody to accidentally turn our lighter on. So I got a longer lighter now. My husband went and got me one yesterday. Oops. So we just put that over this, okay, because I know somebody wanted to see how this part was done. Hopefully you guys can see that. So we have our candle tea light. I'm still using my first tea light. So there's 10 tea lights in this thing. So we put this down. So I have four green ones in here, okay. So while that's melting, I'm going to grab some silver lunar paste, some silver mining lunar paste, okay. Okay, and we're just gonna wait. Shouldn't take too long. And I think I'm gonna start using it this way from now on, instead of using my heat tool. It's already starting to get there. Doesn't take, but maybe, I don't know, 30 to 40 seconds maybe, depending. So 10 tea light candles should last, oh boy, quite a, quite a long time, actually, I'm thinking. And I already have a card in here with, and I'll show you guys while that's melting. I already, let's see, let me see if I can show you a better one. So here's one. Here's a green one with silver on it. So there's one. It says Merry Christmas so you can see it. So there's one right there. The green with the silver on the Merry and the Christmas and I added a little extra silver on the tires too. So there's that one. Again I did blueberries but I did purple here and then blue on the top. This time we're gonna apply it to our top card and we're gonna put it right here on the sprigs. So you can see, we're gonna put it right on top of the sprigs right here. And then we're gonna put that on top of this. I just want to make sure that this is completely melt. There might be a little bit of gold in there still from the gold wax that I used. That's okay. But I accidentally was holding this part on my heat gun or heat tool a little too long and it started smoking. <laughs> and the bottom of my scoop got a tad little gray on it, but it still works. Scoop is still a scoop. Didn't 
burn it to pieces or anything. So at least I didn't burn my craft room down. <laughs> you know? All right. So that looks like it's pretty, you know, pretty liquidy. Right? Got a little bit of gold flaky swirls in there. All right. So now we're going to blow out our candle. All right, so now, the candle out of the way, we're going to do this part very carefully in a circular motion. Well, hey, I'm just beginning. I'm new at this wax seal stuff. It's not perfect, but it's okay. It's not supposed to be perfect, I should say. Not a perfect circle. I guess it just does what it does. And then I still have, oops, it kind of poured out the edges, but I can clean that off. But I still have some for another use. And I don't like that on the edges like that, so I used to wipe it off. I don't want it on there. Yuck. All right, you guys ready for this? Ready? Ooh, look at that. That comes out clean. Nice and clean. And now we can take a fine tip paintbrush, which I just use this guy here, my cheapy brush from Joanne Fabrics. Okay. So now I'm just gonna dab a little bit of Tiny bit of silver mining lunar paste. Okay. And we're going to go over the Mary. And we're going to go over the Christmas. Just so that it pops out a little bit better. Okay. And then we'll go We're going to add a silver tree in the back of the truck. Okay. So there is our card. So I will put this on a card base off camera and I will upload this to where I need to put it. And there you go. So I hope you guys enjoyed this quick little demo. And from start to finish, well, not all the way from start to finish, but you know, but Hope you guys all have a great Thanksgiving. I will not be doing a live this coming Thursday because Thursday is Thanksgiving, of course, here in the United States. So for those of you that are across the world, um, that is why I will not be doing a live on Thursday because we will be enjoying all of our wonderful turkey and mashed potatoes and gravy and stuffing. And 
cranberry sauce and pickles and rolls and all that good tasty stuff. So anyways, I will let you guys go. And for those of you here in the U.S., I hope you guys have a great, happy Thanksgiving this coming Thursday with your family, friends, loved ones, wherever you may be. So anyways, I will talk to you guys later. Love you. Bye.